Hi there, this is David Gutierrez, and today I'm going to show you how to define and deploy datasets in Dash Builder. Some of you might know Dash Builder is a web application for building dashboards and reports in the web, and it's based on Uber file. So let's start. I'm going to create a new empty dashboard. I'm going to drag and drop a new chart on it. So this is the chart configuration screen, and from here I can select from the several chart types available. I'm going to select the bubble chart and now the next step is to select which data set is going to fit this, da this chart. You can see I have three data sets available, I have a CSV file and two bin generated data sets. Basically a data set is a set of uh, columns and rows. Um, in order to have new data sets available you have to deploy them into an application server folder. Let's see how to do it. This is the application server folder, and if I list the content, and I can see that I have the three data sets available. So I'm going to copy here on the system data set definition. It's a world population data set. Now I have my data set here that I can see has been automatically detected and deployed by the application. If I go back to the UI, you can see that my data set has been automatically registered and it's available for using it. So now I can configure my chart using the new data set. I'm going to show the population by country. This is my chart. I'm going to change some display settings. I'm going to make the chart bigger. And I'm going to change some margins. There you go. This is the chart configured using the new dataset that I deployed. So let's see how this dataset definition file looks. So I'm going to show you the internals. I'm going to edit the web population, data set definition. This is the data set definition, JSON file. And the data set has an identifier and the type of, of, of the data set. This, in this case, is a CSV file, but I also have database based data sets and also based on Elasticsearch on even Java being generated data sets. The is published setting means that this data set is available in the UI. I can select it to build dashboards. If I don't want this data set to be available because it's internal, just have, I just have to put this flag to false. And then the rest of settings are related to the CSV data set. What is the file? What is the, the separator chart, the quote? This is our setting for needed for parsing the, the data set. So if I go back to the UI, I'm going to show you an example of an existing dashboard that has been built using the Dash Builder API. This dashboard is fed from the CSV file, the Spring Reports data set. So one interesting feature is that this data set can be refreshed automatically if I only have to open the dataset definition and add these two settings. This means that I want the dataset to get refreshed, not always, only when the, the CSV file changes. So I want to check this every two seconds. So now, if I say this and change, this is the, CSV, the spin report CSV file, and if I remove some rows from here, and save the file, I can see that the data set refreshes automatically. Or if I add a new row, I have a new city, a new department, and I save, then the dash, dash board refreshes automatically. So today we have seen how to deploy 
that as a definition does build them. Uh, at this moment, they have to be done through the folder mechanism, but we are thinking or we have in the roadmap uh, needing for adding a dataset editor in order to define dataset from the UI. And also store this definition into the JIT, uh, into JIT repositories using the, the Uber file built of a system. So if you read, if you want to know more about the data sets and the internals and the structure, please read the article that comes along with this video. So thanks for watching.